Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a morning. I think it's been a morning. Um, it's been a very stressful morning. <laughs> And I'm kind of, I don't even know what I am. I'm just going to go ahead and pull my hair back. So for this skincare Saturday, we're going to do a catch up and some skincare. I've already washed my face, obviously, because I've just showered. Um, I'm going to go in with the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask from First Aid Beauty because my skin needs a little bit of love right now. So, when I say it's been a morning, I was editing to get yesterday's video up. And I feel like I need to elaborate on a few things because in the video, I said I've lost some motivation. And I know I'm not alone in this. I know a lot of people have lost a lot of motivation to do a lot of things. And for me, it's not, I'm not even going to lie, it really isn't just YouTube. I've lost motivation to do simple things, like clean. <laughs> and even my skincare has suffered, y'all. Like no joke everything in my life has taken a hit um and it's not because of work because I'm even losing motivation there I feel like how do I say this without sounding like a pity party I feel like I just, I just don't have any motivation to do anything. And there's just, there's so much negativity, like, I just, Like, even now, I'm literally getting text messages. I hate this. I hate that. I hate this. This this is this. And that's just... <sighs> I've lost a lot of motivation. And it's... It's been a struggle. Like, I don't even... When, the, when, the first, when COVID first happened, I took it as a good thing. I took it as like a blessing in disguise. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep my house in order. And I made a routine. And I would wake up every morning, I'd have my coffee, I would sit down and either film or edit. Then me and Mac would go get coffee. And it was like, it was a whole, and I'd make my bed and I'd go through, I'd sweep the house, I'd mop, I'd do like a quick swift around the house. And I felt like because my house was in order, my life was a little bit in order. And now, with everything that's going on, I feel like I just, I don't wanna clean. I don't wanna make the bed. Like this morning was the first time I've made the bed in like two months. I don't wanna make the bed. I don't wanna clean. I don't, I don't wanna do anything. And then on top of that, my best friend just had my baby. It's not my baby, but I call it my baby. My best friend just had a baby, and I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I've been feeling some type of way. I'm 30. I'm 30, and I don't have a baby. And I know a baby doesn't like make your life complete, but I've gotten baby fever, and I'm like, oh, if I was pregnant, or oh, the nursery, and it's, and a lot of it is my hormones because two weeks ago now, uh, well, a week ago actually, almost two weeks ago, I had my birth control surgically removed from my arm. It had got stuck in tissue and I know that is a huge reason why I am in the funk I am 
because my hormone levels are returning to normal and y'all I'm not even gonna lie I didn't film at all last week because my hormone levels had me screwed up like I didn't even do my skincare like I normally do I was getting migraines I was nauseous for like a week straight it was rough it was it was a rough time, y'all. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, and it's been a struggle. Like, it's it's been a real struggle. And then the birth control put weight on me, so I've been feeling some type of way. And it's... And my brother is leaving for college, so that's been having me feel some type of way. It's just it a lot is going on. So, after I edited, I felt like I needed to come on here and explain what I meant by I've lost motivation. Because when I was editing, I said it like nine times in that video. No joke. And it's not that I've lost motivation to film. I've literally lost motivation to do a lot of things in my life. And... When I first started filming, it was it was an escape for me. It was a way for me to just stop thinking about everything going on in the world and in my life and just focus on something that made me feel good. And lately when I've been editing, I'm not even gonna lie, I have filmed, I didn't film last week, but I have filmed, but I've deleted everything I've edited and everything I filmed because I, I'll be looking at the camera and I'm like, <laughs> that's, that's what I look like. So it's been a struggle, um, which is leading me to why we are making this skincare Saturday into a self care slash announcement. I forgot how good it feels just to sit down and vent. <laughs> just to sit down and be like, hey, you know what? Yeah, I know other people have it bad, but that doesn't make anything I'm feeling or anything I'm going through any less important. And I felt like I kind of needed to get that out there. And just because your struggles might not be the same struggles as someone else, it doesn't make it any less important. Your struggles are still important to you. Yeah, they might be big, they might be small, they might be just a simple insecurity that just like plants itself in your head and then it detonates like a bomb. And like, And I kind of realized it last night at my brother's going away party. That's the sad part. That is what has, I realized what has triggered all of this. All of this. Okay, so when quarantine first started, I was eating so unbelievably healthy. It's ridiculous. Like, I wasn't snacking. And if I was, it was fresh fruit, fresh veggies, fresh this, fresh that. It was healthy. And I was unaware at the time that because of my birth control, that's why I wasn't able to lose weight. So I'm just sitting there like, what the heck, what is going on? And then my, my cycles were all out of whack and it's, so I was like, am I pregnant? And then, like I didn't want to, I just, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get up and get dressed. Like you can, literally there were days I wanted to just wear a hoodie and sweatpants to work. And <laughs> last night at dinner like I've been struggling mentally with my weight because I'm a girl <laughs> I have insecurities yes I when I want to I can be the most confident person on the planet to the point where I look like a pompous asshole but at the end of the day, I have insecurities. I'm not perfect. I know I'm not perfect. I am so far from perfect, that's not even funny. But last night at dinner, 
and my husband like even helped me pick out my outfit because I was struggling. I was like, I don't want to wear this. I don't want to wear that. Can I just wear sweatpants? I don't want to wear this. I don't want to wear that. Like it even got to the point where I almost wore his shirt. Okay. And last night at dinner, I was like, okay, I guess I'll try this or I'll eat that I, I, or I'll do this. And my mom goes, I'm not eating because I'm fat. And I'm like, Ugh. my mom is like a size two. So that kind of put me in a funk because I was like, if you think you're fat, then what do you see when you look at me? Like, what do you see when you look at me? And my poor husband, he's like, no, baby, you're beautiful. You're sexy. You got a good butt. Like, he tries. But, I mean, as a woman, when you look in the mirror and you see that you have drastically changed, it's kind of like... <laughs> so, I wanted to come on here and I wanted to... I want to be transparent with y'all like yeah I don't have the platform that a lot of people have and I think that was a huge part of it I'm like am I am I not good am I not good enough am I not pretty enough am I not lively enough does my editing suck do my videos suck like I I got in my head one thing and one thing one thing and it snowballed and it was just like this morning I woke up and I was editing and I said, and I saw how many times I said I lost motivation. I was like, hold on, stop. And then my head started going again and I was like, well, nope, deep breath, go take a shower. So I did. And I was like, you know what, this feels amazing. Let me do a mask. And then I kind of wanted to do a self care Saturday. And I've been thinking about this for a minute, y'all, no joke. I just, I feel like I should just go for it at this point. Like I already have the setup. So yes, I want to continue with makeup. I want to continue with skincare because I am very passionate about both of those. But like my channel is called BB Beauty. Beauty is not just on the outside. It's on the inside too. And I can't. I don't feel comfortable giving y'all advice on makeup and skincare and beauty when I look in the mirror and I feel like I'm disgusting. So I'm thinking of making, redoing the channel. Wednesdays are gonna be vlog days. And here's why. I want to do a beauty from within and I don't mean hey let's do spiritual or hey let's let's talk about I don't mental whatever no I want to I want to do all around beauty because when I look in the mirror I feel beautiful when I am comfortable with myself it doesn't matter how much makeup I have on. It doesn't matter how much I spend on skincare. Unless I feel beautiful with myself, I'm not going to feel pretty. And I know that is, that's the same thing for a lot of girls. So Wednesdays, we are going to be, um, I kind of want to change it to like workout Wednesday, but it's not really going to be, I don't know. I'm playing with it, but it will start this Wednesday. We are going to be vlogging a nice lifestyle we're gonna make ourselves a routine we're gonna and you don't have to follow my routine follow your routine but we are gonna go through the struggle together and we're gonna we're gonna feel pretty and I'm gonna I'm gonna be healthy and I'm gonna stop eating like crap and I'm gonna stop blaming my birth control and we're gonna see where the world where this takes us because you know what I feel like if I go through this, y'all can go through it with it, with it, 
go through it with me. I feel like maybe if I'm doing it for a reason other than just myself, because this might help someone, then it's worth it. So I'm gonna go wash this mask off and we'll be right back and I'll talk about all the details. Okay, we are back. We rinsed that mask off. I already feel like I'm glowing more. Just getting all that off my chest. All right, let's go in with some a cure for ferulic acid and vitamin C. Um, and we're just gonna rub that in our skin. <sighs> so details about what we're going to be doing. So my whole thought process is we can do a vlog video once a week on Wednesday. Let's go in with some Acure Ultra Hydrating 12 Hour Moisturizer and on those vlog days, like Saturday is still going to be skincare. I want Friday to be makeup dedicated, but I want to vlog things I'm doing to make myself feel better. And who knows, maybe if it helps me, it'll help you. And we can go through this weight loss journey together because <laughs> it's happening. We're going to go in with some Earth to Skin Super Fruit, the uh, Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, but yeah, it's going to be everything from like, if me and my husband go do something, uh, to maybe I'm at work that day and we're trying to find something to make ourselves feel better. And I can even do like fun little healthy coffee recipes because I'm a manager of a coffee shop. And we can just, we'll have some fun with it. But I feel like that's what needs to happen right now. Because it's not all about skincare. It's not all about makeup. And I want to do this journey with you guys. So that is it for today's skincare Saturday. Um, I know it wasn't really skincare dedicated it was more of an announcement and then watching me do skincare while I talk about it and talk about my feelings but you know what hey when you feel good your skin's gonna feel good all right just saying that whole little like 10 minute pamper session just now I already feel like my skin looks better I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that I had two martinis last night <laughs> all right guys Thank you for joining me. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And I will see you Wednesday for our vlog. For our vlog. Our first vlog. Alright guys. I love you. Stay safe. I'll see you next week.